Assalamu alaikum. Uh, dear learners, welcome to the online class of Government Haji Muhammad Mohsen College, Chattogram. Uh, today, I am Aisha Tabasuma with you to conduct this class. Our today's topic is I have a dream from your uh, textbook uh, from the unit three uh, titled as dream. This is lesson three. Uh, the title of the lesson is I have a dream. After completing this session, this class, you will be able to say who Martin Luther King was. And you also uh, will be able to describe Martin Luther King's brief biography. Again, uh, you will be able to explain the dream that Martin Luther King dreamed for his nation. These are the goal. These are the uh, objectives of your reading. First of all, look at the picture now. There's a picture. Uh, I know everyone of you know who the person is. The person is very much familiar to you uh, as you have one lesson uh, on his biography, on his activity. And you uh, can find this uh, lesson in your very first uh, unit of your textbook, unit one. In lesson two, you have a text about him, about his activity. And uh, this was uh, Nelson Mandela, the uh, apartheid fighter too president and uh, he was he is a renowned remarkable noteworthy uh, apartheid fighter of uh, south africa he was the first black south african president former president now there is one more picture for you do you know him do you know, do you know this person um, uh, some of you may know him, uh, someone, some of you uh, may not uh, know him. He's also a notoriety, remarkable person. Uh, he, uh, he is also a famous person uh, for his uh, civil rights activities. Uh, he is not only similar to uh, similar uh, to the physical appearance with Nelson Mandela, his activities are also like Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela fought for the uh, freedom, fought for the equal rights of black people. And also this man, you know, this picture, uh, I still not uh, utter his name. I still not mention who the person is. Uh, this man is also famous uh, for his activity to achieve uh, civil rights for the black people. But the difference is, if is Nelson Mandela fought for his nation's people of uh, South Africa. The uh, person in the second picture fought for the civil rights of Negro people, Black people in America, the United States of America. The person, the second, uh, in the second portrait uh, is the famous, very much uh, remarkable person, remarkable, famous for uh, the Negro civil rights, uh, he is none other than Martin Luther King Jr. Here's one more picture. Uh, this picture is taken from uh, his uh, speech, uh, in, from, a, from his speech, which uh, was delivered on the steps of uh, Lincoln Memorial in USA. This uh, space which he delivered in front of this multitude is titled as I have a dream. I have a dream is title of this space. Later it is titled as this uh, title with this title uh, and uh, 
fortunately, uh, I can mention that uh, this space is now uh, your text, is now your uh, reading topic uh, for this day. And now let's go to uh, the next slide. Uh, in this slide, you have some uh, a short biography of Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, more, we have here we have some more information uh, that you, you have not uh, you, you have uh, not found find in your textbook. Uh, first, Martin Luther King Jr was born in 1929 at Atlanta, uh, Georgia, in the Georgia province uh, on uh, 15th January. 15th January, 1929 is his birth date. He was the first president of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. Southern Christian Leadership Conference, which is known as SL, uh, SCLC. He was the first president. He led a march on Washington movement. This is a remarkable movement in the history of America. Uh, it was led in, in 1963. And this movement was based on the civil rights for the Negro people. And in this movement, uh, in this time, he is delivered a speech on the steps of Lincoln Memorial. I have uh, said earlier, I have mentioned earlier uh, that um, in this speech is titled nowadays is I have a dream. This is, um, this is one of the most famous speeches uh, in the history of world speech delivered by the uh, famous persons. On October 40, 1964, he won the Nobel Peace Prize and he also awarded some more precious awards, precious honor, honor honors uh, posthumously after his death. Uh, one of one is the Presidential Medal of Freedom. The Presidential Medal of Freedom is uh, one of the most precious uh, awards in USA. And he was awarded this award 1977 after his death. He also awarded posthumously Congregational Gold Medal in 2003. One, uh, one more uh, precious recognition. He died uh, in uh, 1968 on 4th April. He was assassin assassinated by James R. Ray, uh, assassination by a gunshot. Uh, the place is the Memphis, uh, Memphis in the Tennessee province. He was uh, assassinated by James R. Ray. This is his brief biography. Uh, with his uh, remarkable activities. Now, uh, let's go forward. Here is your text, the starting of your text. The title is, I have a dream. The Negro is still not free. The Negro people, the black people of America, the speaker uh, claims here that the Negro, the black people of America is still not free. They uh, have no freedom. The life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the change of discrimination. The Negro, the Negroes are still discriminated by the government, discriminated from the white people. Uh, they uh, discriminated to get their civil rights, equal civil rights as the white people. The Negro lives on a lonely island of poverty in the midst of a vast ocean of material prosperity. We know that America is a, a land of uh, material prosperity, lavish li living. 
in spite of the lavish condition, lavish living or material prosperity of American people, American lifestyle, the Negro is still not have uh, entrance, is, is still not have any um, opportunity to get equal uh, benefit, equal civil rights as the, as the white people of USA. The Negro is still languishing in the corners of American society and finds himself, himself as exile, an exile in his own land. Though this America is their own native land, not the white people's, the original uh, set, the original inhabitants of this American territory uh, are the Negroes, not the settler white peoples. But though they are uh, native people, they are now uh, living a uh, grave, living a life with grievance, a, a wretched with a, in a wretched condition, as uh, they are exiled in this land. So we have come here today to dramatize a shameful condition. The speaker here said it. Says that he now uh, comes to the. Uh, multitude to uh, to state such shameful pitiful condition of negro life i say to you today my friends he addressing the american people as his friends he said that i say to you today my friends so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow i still have a dream Though we are suffering today and we know that we have to suffer in our uh, coming future, but still having all these difficulties, I have still, I have a dream. I nourish a dream of better future. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. My dream is uh, related, it's linked to the very basic dream of American dream, the dream fire the American people dream that there will be the one, that will be the supreme, supreme one. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and leave out with the, leave out the true meaning of his creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. The speaker here said that he had a dream that he had a dream of the day on which day all the human being will be equal, will be treated equal as the God, as the Almighty created every human being equally. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. The speaker dreamed that there will be one day when the slave, uh, the son of the slaves, the children of the former slaves and the children of the former slave owners, that means the masters of the slaves will be able to share their uh, sitting place together, will be share their position place and they will be act as brothers and sisters. I have a dream that one day, even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. Here, the speaker asserts that there will be one day, surely, when the wretched condition of this state, Mississippi, the state which is uh, so on, on in where uh, the black peoples are so much depressed, so much oppressed, and uh, they are subjected to uh, so much injustice. 
will be transformed into one, one where there will be no discrimination, where everyone will be treated equally. And uh, this place will transform into oasis, a, a heaven of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will believe in a nation where they will not be just by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. He also hoped that his four little children, the black by their skin, will not be judged by their color of their skin, the, by the color of black color, but by the characteristics they hold, they achieve, by the mentality they rear up, by the uh, activity, by the, uh, what do you can say, uh, by their activities, which uh, they show, their mentality, which they nourish. By all this, they will be judged, not only by the color of their skin, only by the color, only for the their black skin, they will not be just subordinate. They will not be just poor. They will not be neglected anymore. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious races, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification, that one day right down in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys' hands, white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. The speaker, the speaker hoped for a day when in Alabama, where racism is so much <coughs> strong, in this racist area, the racism uh, <coughs> practiced by government also. The government also uh, tries to uh, go through nullification. Nullification, that means abolition of black people. <coughs> that in this racist area will transform into equal into a land with equality for black and white peoples uh, as well, uh, where the black boys and girls will sit, will act, will uh, work together, uh, will uh, place hands on hands together without any discrimination as they are brothers and sisters, with, as they are siblings. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted. The valley, the lower places will be exalted one. Every hill and mountain shall be made low. The lower portion will be exalted, will be made high. The higher portion will be made low. That means all the places will become plain, plateau. The plateau in a same position. The rough places will be made plain and the crooked places will be made straight. That means every places, all the places will be made uh, equal, will be made plain. No, there will be no upper or lower places will be made straight and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. This indicates not the places, not the geological places. It is the place of mentality. It is the place of race. It, is the, uh, it, it indicates the races. It indicates the color of the skins. There will be no Black people considered as the black people, there, there will nobody considered as the white people. The black people never be considered the lower one, uh, subordinate one. 
white people never be considered the exalted or upper class one. Every uh, black and uh, white people will be equal, will be just equally. And everyone will admit this, their equality. This is our hope. This is the faith that I will go back to the South with, with this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. This is our hope by which we will be able to get together. And by this uh, strength of faith, by this sharpness of faith, using this faith, we will be able to hew a stone of uh, depression, despair, Heal, reshape, cut out a, a stone of despair to model, to give a uh, entire structure of hope. The stone of mountain of despair will transform into a mountain of a stone of hope. After she reshaping it, we will reshape this mountain of despair by the weapon of faith. The faith, what faith? The faith of equality. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discourse of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. By using this faith, we, uh, the speaker admits that, they will be able to transform this cacophony uh, comes from this uh, disorder have transformed this discriminated nation into one symphony, into one brotherhood, uh, where the tuning will be equal. There will be a symphony among the races, among all the people, all the inhabitants of USA. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. Here the narrator, the speaker asserts that if we nourish such faith, such faith of equality, we surely will be have one super day where we will get freedom, freedom of living, freedom of thinking, freedom of everything. But before that, we have to nourish in our mind that we are equal. We have, we are, we have no discrimination. We are not from two opposite races, two opposite worlds. We are the common people of the same world. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. If America wants to be a great nation, not by verbally, but by the action, if America truly want to be a great one, it must become true. The equality will be applied correctly. So let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltop of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the heightening elegance of Pennsylvania. From every corner of the USA, freedom must, freedom must be ringed. Otherwise, the equality will not be possible. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi. Every upper places and every lower places, in every places there must be equality. There must be justice, otherwise, it will not be transformed into great one, into a great nation. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. There will be freedom in every up 
upwards every upsides and downsides every mountains or the plains in every corner of the uh, nest of the uh, country everywhere freedom will be uh, applied freedom will be <coughs> sorry justice will be applied and when this happens when it comes true when equality will practiced will be practiced and when allow freedom ring when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet the small villages that means the most uh, uh, village the most uh, countryside of the uh, nation of the state from every state and from every city we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. If we, the people, the speaker asserts that if we uh, apply freedom and equality in our every space, every sphere of our life, livelihood, every sphere of our uh, national life, the state will be free one. The people, the inhabitants of this land will enjoy the freedom which the God, the Almighty bestowed them. These are the freedom is the birthright of the of every people, without regardless to a to any uh, caste or creed, regardless to any region or religion, regardless to any color, uh, whether black or white. Every people will enjoy freedom, the bestowed uh, <coughs> by the the opportunity bestowed by the creator himself. This is the end of your lesson text. Now, practice some uh, question. This short questions. These are the uh, first one is, what is the text type? This is an, is this an article, a space? or a short story. Who delivered it? I have said earlier that this, uh, I have a dream topic, I have a dream text, is basically a piece delivered by Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered this piece in 1963 in his movement to uh, Washington movement. And this is piece delivered on the steps of Lincoln Memorial. Uh, the I have a dream titled this is piece I have a dream later. What was King's dream? What was the dream of Martin Luther King? Martin Luther King dreamed for a free, racial free, apartheid free nation where all black and white people will enjoy equal rights. There will be no uh, discrimination between caste and creeds, between religion, between uh, uh, regions, uh, between white skins, the color of the skins. No, no discrimination will remain in his imaginary uh, world, in imaginary nation. He dreams for such a nation, such an America. What according to Martin Luther King Jr will be the ultimate benefit if his dreams come true. If Martin Luther King's dream come true, what will be happen in future? If his dream come, dreams come true, the American nation will be transformed into, will be transformed into a land of justice and freedom. Every person of this area, every person of this territory will enjoy equal rights, will uh, enjoy human rights. 
America will become a great nation where all inhabitants will join hands and sing a song with same tune. The symphony prevailed all over the nation. Do you think that Martin Luther King's dreams have been fulfilled? Why or why not? His dreams that he dreamed for his nation. Uh, is that come true? I don't think so. This is my opinion. I don't think so. His dream still not, still have not been come true. Because in recent past, we have noticed one uh, activity, uh, one incident, the death of George Floyd in 2020. In 2020, George Floyd was murdered by the policeman, squeezed by the throat. The policeman pulled down his knees over the throat of George Floyd and, and George Floyd died. On, uh, this is the date on 25, 25th May, 2020. George Floyd was a black people about 46 years old, security officer. He was a security officer. This happens only for his color of his skin. This happens only because only uh, he is a Negro. I think this is my opinion. Uh, you can answer as you wish. You can answer as you're thinking. If you think that, uh, my Martin Luther King's dream uh, have come true. You can say that, but according to me, but in my opinion, I think his dream still not uh, come true. It is far away to fulfill his dream. No, this is the end of our session. Uh, thank you for attending the session. Uh, Thank you for joining me in this virtual class. Uh, though this is a recorded class, uh, I hope you <coughs> enjoy this class. Uh, we have physical class also. Uh, along with this physical class, uh, you will get this uh, recorded virtual class. Uh, we hope this will helpful to uh, practice your test texts. Uh, to get preparation for your exam. Uh, hope you will, okay, uh, we will, you are with your sound health, uh, everyone, you are uh, safe and sound. I request you to follow every health suggestions, health regulations uh, that are provided by the Ministry of Health to protect from, to protect yourself from the, uh, the, from this pandemic uh, COVID situation. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and also obviously keep reading, keep getting your preparation for the exam. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this is the end of your uh, class. Hope we'll have one more classes uh, physically or virtually in the next future. Thank you everyone.